Schumacher booster cables, copper clad aluminum, 900 amps, 25 feet, one gauge. They're heavy duty. These are the biggest jumper cables I've ever had. And it shows you the standard get your batteries close when you're trying to jump another car. As you, as you can see, because these are so heavy duty, you can use these on bigger vehicles, tractors, semi trucks. These are excellent emergency response cables. Even though they're much bigger than I'm going to need, if I have them in my car and they work, I'll always be able to loan them out or give them out to someone in peril. Extreme heavy duty jaw design. It's not too bad squeezing them and it's got a nice plastic rubber, sort of, a, sort of a rubber all around it so it keeps you from bumping stuff with the live metal. Flexible to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Red positive, black negative. Nice solid spring on the inside. You can see it's a metal banded spring. Zinc plated steel claps, pressure crimp connections. And here's the chart of how to connect them. I'll show you how it works on our vehicles. But most of the newer cars, last couple of decades in the US, red is positive. And in case it's not, you have to determine that with your battery. It's a different direction of the cables. But in any case, this is the dead battery. The battery needs jumping. Put the red cable on the positive. Then come over to the vehicle that's going to jump you, or the battery that's going to jump you, and put the red cable on the positive. Then put the black cable on the negative of the source of the new power. And then come over here and put the black cable on some ground. A lot of people will connect it here. There's a lot of warnings in here about doing that, and most of the time that you could have fumes coming out. You don't know really why this battery is low or went bad. It could be defective. It could explode. So they don't want anything that can have a spark come over here, so you stick it on the ground. I'll show you where that ground point is in a Toyota Sienna, Toyota Highlander Hybrid, and a Subaru Forester. Shield your eyes. Make sure vent caps are tight and level. Put a damp cloth over any vent caps on both batteries. It's going to absorb any sort of jumping spark or any kind of fume coming out. Do not allow cloth to come into contact with skin or clothing. Be sure vehicles do not touch and both electrical systems are off when you're loading this thing up with the cables. Batteries can be dangerous, so be careful. Always have eye protection and protective clothing. Don't touch your eyes. Don't smoke. Make sure your cables aren't near anything that's moving, like spinning belts or fans. You don't want any tools dropping in there either. When you're jumping, make sure they're both the same source. Power types in terms of voltage, 6, 12, etc. There are two vehicles, Subaru Forester, Toyota Sienna. Let's look at when the Subaru Forester needs to be jumped. Most US newer vehicles operate the same. The first thing we're going to do is put the red jumper on the red terminal, positive terminal, on the battery. Second thing we're going to do is put the red terminal on the positive terminal of the car that's going to jump us. Then, third thing, I'm going to put the black terminal on the black terminal of the battery of the car that's jumping us. So the car that's doing a jumping will have the cables attached both to the red and black terminals. And then finally, we'll come back to here, and you should look in your manual. There's always some screw place. You don't want to attach the black battery terminal coming from the jump jumping car to the battery. You're going to put it on, for instance, this nut right here on the frame of the system. We don't want sparks to be close to the battery and to ignite any kind of fumes. So step one, put the positive clamp on the positive clamp on the battery. Come over here, 
You don't want these metal parts to touch each other. We're going to put the positive on the positive battery on the car that's doing the jumping. Okay, we have that on here. Now we're going to put the black clamp on this terminal. Finally, now look at your manual again. Start the engine of the vehicle with the booster battery, which would be this one. This would be a good battery. And run it at moderate speed. Then start the engine of the vehicle that has the discharge battery, Subaru. When finished, carefully disconnect the cables in the, exactly the reverse order. So the exact reverse order is to remove this one. Put it down. Come over here. Remove this one, sit down, remove this one, lay them down, and finally come back to the newly jumped car and lay that down. The cap back on. And put the cap back on this one. The manual on the booster cable says to make a point, check on your battery if these are removable caps. Make sure they're not loose or they're flat. And get a damp cloth and put it over here. What you're trying to do, if, any, if your battery is damaged and there's any smoke coming out, you want a damp cloth to absorb it because that could ignite. I don't know how many times in my life when I'm jumping a car, I always put the jumper cables on here I'm paying a little bit more attention to safety but that was not the way to do it you need to keep it off of the battery itself you see in a Toyota Sienna when it needs to be jumped you attach the red cable here go attach the red cable to your jumping car in a case Subaru Forester and then you have a picture of a little nodule here somewhere over here and it might be this little nodule right here clamp onto could clamp onto this also you just want to keep it away from any kind of moving parts so we'll clamp on here but i'm not it's hard in this diagram looks like almost a valve coming up but i don't know where else it would be just want a nice solid piece even back here you could put it on to that screw So when the Subaru is doing the jumping, I have them clamped on, no metals touching. The rag over here too. So because this is a little ambiguous on the Sienna, next time I go to Toyota, I'm going to ask them exactly where we're supposed to connect it to. But in any case, you just want something that will ground it to the frame of your car. Now, this is the Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Push this little tab back. And you see the red charging head and the black one. For these jumper cables I have, they won't fit. They won't get down here and bite on this little top. All right, so saw a couple things online. You really only hybrid noise. You only need one side of this on there. So somebody with these, I'd have to pull the plastic back and get it on the clip on the top here, and just on the plastic on the bottom. So in a Highland hybrid, I forgot in the back here. There's a little cover. There's the battery. Underneath another cover, there are the terminals. So I suppose I would jump off of that. I'm going to double check. Put a note below. Open it over here. But this is not mentioned in the manual. Comes with a nice case. The question is, can I get them put back in there correctly so that it fits in the case?
I got it in here mostly. What I did was I tried to keep so you know, there's a one gauge, tried to keep it flat, and I made concentric circles, then I went up and made some more. I got it shoved in here, lifted it up, just pushed it in. Not something I would do on the side of the road. Maybe a little gap here, but 